What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys another episode of the Upgraded Budget series here on my channel. And today we are actually going to be looking at the wide receiver position. Now, if you guys are new to this series, this is actually kind of an updated version of a previous series that I did on my channel very early in my YouTube career, where I took a look at some of the best cars that were, you know, typically around 10,000 or less coins. Now, today, we are going to be looking at cards that are a little bit more expensive than that, and that's why I call it the Upgraded Budget Series, because it's been a few months since I did those, and now that most of the cards that are going to come out in Mutt are actually in the game, you're going to see a lot of cards that have dropped in price, so ones that were once 100,000, 200,000 coins are now much more affordable, and there are actually cards that came out that started off more affordable that we can now get onto a budget squad for not a whole lot more coins. So as you guys have been doing the budget series, I hope that you've been taking and advancing your teams. But if you haven't, this is an opportunity for you to do that. I'm hoping that the previous budget series has helped you guys assemble a team that is at least able to compete with other people and win solo challenges and things like that. So if you now have more coins in your bank, you should be able to upgrade your team in a few different areas. So today, again, we are focusing on the wide receiver position. And the very first card that we're going to be taking a look at here is the one that we kind of highlighted there in the opening graphic. And that is actually 98 overall team MVP, Josh Gordon. This is a playoff edition card. And this card overall is very, very good. It's actually one of my two starting receivers that I have on my current team. Um, I don't see a whole lot of reason to make upgrades unless you're going to be upgrading to one of like the uh, top ultimate legend cards or things like that because this card is just an absolute beast by itself. So let's take a look at some of these attributes here. Now, if, again, if you're new to the series, I want you guys to keep in mind these green, yellow, and what you will eventually see on other slides is red. These different things are categorized based on how good these cards are at their position. So if you look at 75 strength, for example, now for an offensive line, 75 strength would be freaking terrible. But for a wide receiver, it's pretty decent. It's not excellent, but it's okay. Whereas speed, 96 speed, this is a green attribute for Josh Gordon. And that is because it is very, very good at its position. Yes, there are receivers that are going to be faster. Your ultimate legend, Randy Moss, and things like that. But for the most part, this is in a very high class among wide receivers. It's There aren't a lot of cards that are going to have faster speed attributes than this Josh Gordon card. So that hope that kind of makes sense. Red is bad, yellow is decent, and green is good. So hopefully you guys understand that. That should be fairly obvious based on what you've seen in other videos and um, and just what you've experienced in life. So with that being said, guys, let's take a, a deeper look at this card here. Now, the very first thing that I want you guys to take a look at is actually on the far right. Um, I have the height for each card listed. And I think that this is an attribute that goes underrated for wide receivers a lot of times because people will look for things like catch and catch in traffic and speed and stuff like that. But there are a lot of times where, especially when you're down at the goal line, you just need your receiver to get up and box the other guy out and make a catch in like a fade route. Or uh, if you throw it up deep, you want him to go up and jump over the guys that are the, the smaller corners that people might be using. So this card is great for that because it actually has 95 jump and it's a six foot three wide receiver to begin with. So that makes it really good on those jump ball uh, situations. And it also has great catching, catching traffic. It's spectacular catch is a little low at 94. It's not going to make as many great catches as some of the higher end cards, but still very, very good overall. There aren't a lot of areas where this cat, where this card is bad. Um, and of course, you'd probably expect that based on the fact that it's 48,000 coins. Now, this is actually an, a rough estimate based on all four consoles combined together. So you might see it for cheaper, for example, on PlayStation 4 than you would on Xbox One. And so do keep in mind that, again, this is not uh, an est it's just an estimate. It's not an exact number for all of the consoles. So definitely go in and check your mutt heads, check your EA Sports websites and things like that. See what these cards have sold for recently before you go in and make too brash of a uh, purchase. But for overall, this is about a 48,000 coin card from what I estimated. And I think that for 48,000 coins, this is an excellent card. Now, granted, this is significantly higher than what you're going to see on most of the other budget series episodes that I'm going to do here. And it's also more than double the price of any other card. 
but I still wanted to give you guys a card that was a high-end caliber card on this series so it's something you can strive for I know some of you are asking me hey Clickwood, I've got a, a 25,000 to 50,000 coin budget what card should I get and this is the answer to that question get this team MVP Josh Gordon it's an absolute beast and I love having it on my team so with that said, let's move on to a lower level budget card and something that's a little bit more affordable. Now, the second card that we're looking at here is another very high-end card. It's a 97 overall, Larry Fitzgerald Madden 25 edition. Now, this is a card that has been since outdone by many, many cards, but it's still very, very good. This card has 93 speed, which is not excellent, but still good enough to be a starter, I think. Um, it's on the lower end of what I would consider to be startable. But the other attributes that it has makes it very, very good. It has 97 jump and it's six foot three. So again, it's definitely big and physical and it's able to make plays uh, as far as on the jump balls and things like that. It has great route running at 97, 97 spec catch, uh, 96 catching. It also has decent enough run blocking attributes and a 78 strength. So this one is not going to get abused by opposing corners. It's going to be able to hold its own at least in the running game. So if you're somebody like me that needs your receivers to be able to block this card here and that jo Josh Gordon card in the last uh, slide, those two are actually a pretty good duo for run blocking. Overall, this isn't the best card in the game, but it is for 21,000 coins, you're not going to really find many receivers that are better. I think uh, the other thing that's cool about this card, of course, is that it's Larry Fitzgerald. And if you're somebody like me, you love to see these receivers that have like the dreadlocks hanging out the back of their jerseys. It just looks epic. So uh, that's just another like personal reason why I love Larry Fitzgerald. Not to mention he's just one of the coolest guys in the NFL. So it's always nice to have a cool card of one of your favorite players. Moving on. Our third upgraded budget series card in the wide receiver position is actually a rookie card, and this is Kelvin Benjamin. Now, I didn't really follow the NFL draft much coming into the year, but when I saw this guy get drafted by the Carolina Panthers, I saw potential fantasy glory. And when I saw this card, I saw mutt glory written all over it. This card is a very, very nice card when it comes to being able to do what I talked about with the Larry Fitzgerald and the Josh Gordon using its size and speed combination. There aren't very many corners that are going to be able to come up and make plays on the ball against this card. It actually is a six foot five wide receiver with 96 jumping. Those are the kind of attributes that not even many of the ultimate legend cards have. It's like Kelvin Johnson level of size and, and, and uh, jump combination. So this is definitely one that I would recommend investing in if you're looking for a lower priced receiver that is big and physical. Now he doesn't have the best attributes and things like route running and catching and catching traffic and spec catch and release and stuff like that. But he does have fast acceleration. He still has 93 speed. So he's decent enough to be a, a starting wide receiver on your team in my opinion. And one of the things that I actually thought that was kind of interesting about this card is that it has poor run blocking attributes at only a 55, which was a little bit surprising to me considering it has 80 strength, but it actually has 63 impact block. So I don't exactly know how EA's attributes break down, but if I understand it correctly, run block is basically, it, it basically the what happens when the two guys get together and they they run into each other okay so if you're have a, if you were to have a high run block attribute you would be able to hold on to the guy longer and the guys are going to get past you your running back or whoever has the ball now if you actually have a high impact block combined with a high strength you might actually knock them over and that wouldn't necessarily so much come into play with the run block attribute if that makes any sense so you might actually get better production as far as a blocker goes from a guy who has better impact block and strength than you would from a guy that has a better pure run block attribute hope that makes sense and is not confusing but um you know overall this is a very good card for 18,000 coins plus it's kind of neat to have a rookie on your team so if you guys are uh, assembling an all rookie team or something like that and you want to have a budget wide receiver this is one to look into i would highly recommend it i unfortunately haven't had a chance to actually play with it myself but the attributes just kind of tell all the story as far as I'm concerned. He's good pretty much everywhere other than that run blocking attribute and I'm not overly worried about that because he has the, the strength and the impact block to kind of make up for it. 
Next card is another playoff edition card. This is AJ Green. Now, AJ Green, of course, is a player that I think a lot of people like in the real NFL, and there's great reasons for it because he's a big receiver at six foot four who has great jumping. He's able to make catches in traffic and things like that. Um, the, the Madden card, not a whole lot different than what you'd expect it to be. This has a, a really high jump attribute at 95, and of course, the 94 speed is actually an upgrade. It's only one faster than what we've seen with some of these other cards, but still, the 94 speed is a little bit quicker, and it still has good acceleration at 95. The route running is solid at a 92, not great, but not bad by any means. The other thing that this one does have is that 96 spectacular catch, which puts it in the green level. This is a card that is going to go up and make those great catches when you make a, a bad throw with quarterback Walter Payton like I do all the time. This is the kind of card that's going to be able to make up for some of those bad throws and really come up with some amazing catches for you. Now, the area where this card is not very good is an area that would make it not good for my team. So like I said before, when I put together a team, I want to see wide receivers that are able to run block. And this card just doesn't have those attributes. It has 69 strength, which is low for a wide receiver even. Um, it's not the lowest that you're going to see, but it's not very good. Then the 55 run block is not very good either. It's, it's not going to do a great job against many of the other cornerbacks that it's going to go up against or potentially linebackers and safeties. It, it just, it's not good for run blocking. And especially when you consider that it only has a 41 impact block. Those things just combined together are going to make it not one of the better run blocking wide receivers, which basically takes it out of the realm of even consideration for my team. But if you're somebody who likes to go out there and throw the ball and you're not really so much worried about running, this is the kind of card that you can really utilize a lot and beat teams that are better than you because he is so big and physical along with the speed that he's going to be able to crush most of these cornerbacks that he goes up against, especially ones that aren't at the elite top level cornerback position. Um, you know, your Deion Sanders is in your cover boat Sherman's and your uh, golden ticket Patrick Peterson and things like that. Okay, fair enough. You're probably not going to be able to beat those cornerbacks, but who really could other than like ultimate legend Randy Moss and things like that? There just aren't a lot of receivers that are going to match up well against those cornerbacks. But if you're going up against cornerbacks that aren't quite at that level, the guys like the uh, 98 Deion Sanders, for example, or... Um, you know, if you're looking at some of the guys like the Tracy Porters that the people like to use. This card is going to do a very, very good job against those guys. And his size and speed combination, like I said, are going to make him tough to defend for opposing teams. Moving on now, and we're going to continue to drop in price here. We're going from 15,000 coins for that AJ Green all the way down to 10,000 coins now for Deshaun Jackson, another playoff edition card. And you might notice that a lot of these playoff cards are going to be in this budget series. And the reason for that is because... When they came out, they were pretty expensive, but now the price on them has dropped so much because of the sparkle cards and the elite cards and the ultimate legends and things like that, that these cards just, they're not as high overall as those. So people just demand their 99 overall cards. So they're going to be willing to pay 200,000 coins for those. Whereas this card is all, really, all the way down here now at 10,000 coins. But this is a card that can absolutely host opposing players. If you look at that speed and acceleration combination, whew, there's not much better than that. Seriously, this Deshaun Jackson card is so, so fast. Now, I know that they actually recently put out a free agent edition Deshaun Jackson, and uh, that card actually has very similar attributes in the key areas to this one. It does have the same type of speed and acceleration combination. You're not going to see a major upgrade, but it is quite a bit more expensive. Now, in all other areas, this Deshaun Jackson card really isn't that spectacular. But if people are just using man coverage and trying to, you know, use their slower cornerbacks, their slower, more physical cornerbacks to try and keep up with Deshaun Jackson, you have the opportunity to beat him deep or go with a crossing pattern over the middle or a slant or uh, a drag or things like that. This card can actually create separation really easily and it can definitely beat the opposing team deep. So if you're looking for a deep threat for 10,000 or less coins, it doesn't get a whole lot better than Deshaun Jackson. Unfortunately, his 5'10 height and the uh, terrible run blocking attributes make him, again, pretty much unusable for a person like me. But my offense is kind of different than a lot of people's because most people like to huck the rock in Madden. 
and uh, I don't really blame you guys because I have a tough time stopping the pass, so I know it works, and I would have a, definitely a tough time stopping this Deshaun Jackson if I saw it on a lot of opposing teams. So with that being said, guys, I think that this is the kind of card, like I said, that you can definitely make it, take advantage of. Uh, you can put him at a kick returner as well. He's a very good kick returner, doesn't fumble a lot, so that's always a nice thing as, as a little bonus for this card. Definitely a card that you should look at if you're looking for a deep threat under 10,000 coins. And with that said, let's move on to the last card in today's video. And for those of you who saw the first budget series, you're going to see a card that's kind of similar to what we had in that budget series. We actually had a 93 overall elite Demarius Thomas at that point in time. Now, this Demarius Thomas card has actually fallen in price all the way to being almost equal to the price of that one at the time. And it has better attributes pretty much across the board. Of course, other than the height, which remains six foot three, which is definitely high enough to be a green attribute for him. Now, the 95 speed is right on the verge of where it's almost at the green level, but because there are so many cards now that are at like 100 speed or more, I decided to make 96 the cutoff to be green, and uh, this one doesn't quite get to that level, but with 95 acceleration and 95 speed, it's still plenty fast enough to be a starting receiver for your team. With 78 strength, 68 run block, and 61 impact, impact block it's a good card for blocking as well and again this is an 8500 coin card this is the cheapest one that we're going to have in today's video and it's definitely one that i would consider for my team if i didn't have quite as many coins as i currently do now again it's not spectacular in any one area but the thing that it does have is that it's really good overall it's route running being a 91 and it's catching traffic also being a 91 are not great but again right on that cusp of being at least to the yellow point um what you're gonna find between a lot of wide receivers at least between like the 90 overall receivers to like the 98 overall wide receivers is that they're pretty much gonna be mostly the same across the board when it comes to things like release jump route running catching catching traffic and spec catch they pretty much all fall into that 90 to 95 range somewhere in that range and they don't really get a whole lot higher than that and don't really get a whole lot lower than that so there's really not a lot of difference between them in those areas where you see a major difference in these cards is the speed the acceleration the strength and then those run blocking attributes that's really the major difference between at least this level of card now of course when again when you get to like the top end guys when we're talking about that ultimate legend uh randy moss card or the ultimate legend jerry rice card yeah, they've, they've blown those attributes out of the water, and there's really no comparison. But we're talking about cards that are a couple hundred times more expensive. So, of course, that should probably happen. You would hope that they're a little bit better in those attributes. And, of course, they are. But for those of us who don't have a million coins to spend on an individual card, these are the kind of cards, this Demarius Thomas card here, are the kind of cards that can be the building block for your team. You don't need to spend a million coins on a card. At the end of the day, it comes down to your stick skills for the most part. It comes down to your ability to pick the right play for the situation and have the stick skills to execute it. If you can do those things, you can beat most people with cards like this. You don't need the 99 overall cards. I've been doing it on my channel for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks at this point beating people who have 99 overall teams or at least being competitive with them for the most part when i lose games it's not because my team isn't good enough i'm only a 94 overall and i know for some of you that's way higher than what your team is but most of you that are watching this video probably have better teams than me and while you might be able to beat me i'm mostly going to be competitive against most people that are watching this video because i'm able to find the guys in the price range that is good enough for my team and their quality cards for that price so again guys you don't need to have the elite cards take advantage of these lower price cards that are still going to give you great production and you're going to be much more successful overall and you can spend your coins on areas that you need to improve on a lot more things like cornerback for example in my opinion you need to have elite cornerbacks because you don't typically use or control them so with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you press that like button below let me know that you guys like this series it does take a lot of effort from me it's not just your typical go in and crop out a couple of video clips and throw together some boring commentary on it 
I really do a lot of research going into these cards and I try to find the things that are going to be the best for you guys to use on your team. So I hope you do appreciate all the work that I put into it. If you do, press that like button and don't forget to leave a comment as well. Let me know if you guys have tried out these cards or if there are other cards that you have on your team that you think would fit into this budget series as well. I know there are more cards out there that are also quality, but I decided to just do six for this video. So I hope that's good enough for you guys. Last thing, if you guys are new to the channel, please press that subscribe button because it does mean a lot to me and it'll also let you guys know when I put out new content. We're also going to be doing other positions here. If you guys haven't checked out the linebacker and the offensive lineman positions, definitely go in and check those out because those are the ones that we've put out so far. I will have a link to those in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.